Aloha, abakapa. This is Katapa Tomoko. Welcome back to my humble channel. It's rather late well, during this time of recording, so I may sound a lot softer than usual because I don't want to wake up the neighbors. But I'm very excited. I just couldn't sleep because in the last episode, we have got 32 spirit orbs. That means. I basically should be able to get the Master Sword this time. And when I first ventured here, I tried my best to avoid the pedestal where the Master Sword is so that it doesn't trigger the cutscene by accident. But now we are here. First order of business, let's talk to his two. Mm, one more sword, one more. I mean, if it if it allows it. Shaka kala! If you return my lost cork seeds to me, I'll expand the size of your inventory. Which stash you do you want another slot in? Uh, we'll start with the shield. Okay, then I'll just need 10 croc seeds from you. Deal? Yes. Let the expansion begin. Da na 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 na. Expand the band band shields the shakala. So did it then do you want expand to another? do you want to expand another stash? Uh weapon stash please? Sh okay, I'll just need twelve Korok seeds, do you? Yes. Let the expansion begin. Na 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 na. Expand a ban ban weapon stash shakala. So then then then, do you want to expand another stash bow stash please? Sh okay, I'll just need twelve coral seeds. Deal? Yes. Let the expansion begin. Na, 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 na. Expand a ban ban bow stash shalaka uh, shakala. So then 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 do you want to expand another stash? Uh nothing right now? Okay then. Bye bye, let's see. Uh hmm. Light arrow would take one slot. Is this the last of it? I wonder if the bow is the last of it. Because I have all the arrows here. I wonder if the bow is the last one. It's okay, I'll just need 17 Gorg seeds, do you? Let the expansion begin. Da na 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 na. That might be the very last one, but I don't know. Expand a band band. Bow stash shakala. So then and then then do you want another? Okay, this one should be twenty. Yeah, never mind. Uh, yes. A shield? Ten. What about the weapon? Oh, just nice. I'll take that.
Da, na, 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 na. And I'm down to zero croc seeds again. Expand the band band weapon stash. Shakala. Shakala, come back again. Yep. Right then. Let's trigger that particular cutscene. There it is. A master sword. You know what? This looks more pretty. Let's trigger the initial cutscene where it tells you to be careful first. I am curious what it's like if you do pull it out right before that. Actually, we've seen that many times ago, so... Suppose I directly go and... Where's the goddess statue? Ah, here you are. I'll be very curious because we know we triggered a cutscene where we woke up the Great Decker Tree and he'll explain that you need to have uh, enough well he didn't say it specifically but it did say that you need to have enough courage to pull it out otherwise it's going to drain your life so I wonder what happens if we directly go for it before we even say anything It just seems to occur to me something. You notice the somewhat swirling patterns around the goddess's uh, abdomen? They do look a little bit like those lotus plants, uh, lotus petals. And in Tears of the Kingdom, we do see something very similar to that. one go and bring peace to Hyrule one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen right Night time, though. Hmm. 
are you? Could it be? You're Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero is here. The mushroom on my head suddenly sprouted today, so I knew something was up. It was a prediction that you come, I think. Now then, the Korok trials await. Wait, you haven't touched the sword yet. What are you waiting for? You've got to go to the sword first. I'll tell you all about the Korok trials once you've taken care of that. Oh, I'm very sorry that was bad timing of me. That was very bad timing. I actually farted. Whoa, he's finally here. I've, I've been waiting so long. Go on then, go to the sword. I'll take that. Off we go. とねしておったようじゃのう。主は。おお。やっと現れたか。百年の時、主がここを訪れるのを待っておったぞ。いささか待ちくたびれてしまう。だが、薬剤を打ち倒せるという大麻の剣。そして100年前、それを手にしておったのは他ならぬ主なのだ。だが気をつけろ。その剣を手に入れようとする者は剣自身に試される。今の主に果たしてそれを抜けるかどうか。If you hope to pull the sword from its resting place, you must use your true strength. Let us see whether or not you currently possesses said power. It's so funny when he says that Kiyotsukeru no Yoi or something like that. That means you ought to be careful when over here it says best of luck. Well, the moment of truth. Thank <laughs> you. 
いつの日かあなたの主がここを訪れるまで待っていてくださいあなたの言うように長い眠りが彼の記憶を奪ったとしても大丈夫あの人はまたきっとあなたの前に現れますハイラルの姫巫女よそなたこれからどうするこの剣がマスターソードが教えてくれました私にはやることがまだやれることがあります強うなられたの姫巫女レクノキ様いつの日か彼がここを訪れたら伝えていただけますか私はさてさてかの者に聞かせる言葉は主の口よりこそ紡がれるべきではないかはいが見たは百年前のこの場所その剣が主の手を離れハイラルの姫巫女によってこの地に運ばれた時の出来事よあの娘は今もパイラル城で懸命に戦っておる。主が必ず来てくれると信じてなあの娘の笑顔をわしも今一度見てみたいのよ。The legendary sword that seals the darkness, its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. It's so funny when I first played this back then, I didn't pay attention to the rendition of Zelda's lullaby, but now replaying it again and putting headphones on. Definitely can hear the difference. Beautiful rendition, I must say. Fi, welcome back. Yo, yeah, yeah, I did play Skyward Sword HD when they came out for the Switch. It was one of those games that I haven't played yet, and I do really wanted to play it then. By God, that was that's also a very good game, Skyward Sword. And I find it,、uh, I know people say that back then in the Wii,、uh, in the Wii? Yeah, Wii, it was really hard to do the motion controls. And I can vouch for that because when, when I said back then, there was this good friend who introduced me to Ocarina of Time. He also had the Wii version of Skyward Sword. And I managed to play a little bit. At that time, I was riding the Loftwing. And the controls were so. I'm, I'm just so not easy with the controls. So I'm very glad they made it button controls for the Switch Pro and the Switch Lite. So I,、uh, I also follow Austin John's Play's、uh, walkthrough so that I got most of the things I needed to do. 
in Scarlet Sword and cleared it in about 80 hours or so. Fun game. Very fun game. I don't mind trying to play it again, but I would like to try Venture it without those guides, and that would be really awesome. Mm. That blade has a name. It is the Master Sword. When used against Calamity Ganon, or those tainted by its by his malice, it will become suffused with holy light. Mm. At such times, the true power of the sword will manifest. But be warned, do not rely too much on its power. If you wield it without need, its power will be exhausted and it will no longer be of use to you. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. It would be rash to rely on this sword alone to defeat Ganon. I suggest you free the divine beasts before facing him. I'm just going to add this one here because when I first played this, I freed the Divine Beast before I get the Master Sword. So this time it seems to be the other way around. Now that it says you've got the sword, you need to free the beasts. Okay, now there's one little mini thing I need to do. Some, but some Korok here was asking for Bloopy. Ah, here it is. Mr. Hero? Hey, are you the hero? Could it be? Welcome to Korok Forest. You're much, much cooler looking than I thought you'd be. But to be sure you're up to the task at hand, I prepared a trial for you. What do you think? Will you accept my trial? I'll do it. Great! Right. Show me a rod with the power of ice, please. You can wave this rod to freeze monsters in their tracks. Ice wiz ropes love to wreak havoc with them. If Mr. Hero were to wield a rod with the power of ice, he would be even stronger and cooler. No pun intended. As for my inventory, I don't think I have the... Yeah, no pumpkin. No pumpkin, no lino, so nope, can't do those. Ah, Mr. Hero, I was watching you pull out the sword. If you want to know more about the sword, leave it to Maka. About the forest. The highlights here in Korok Forest are the Great Deku Tree and the Sword Pedestal, of course. Although the great Deku Tree probably isn't very happy about becoming a tourist trap. We've really decked out the inside of the great Deku Tree in anticipation of your arrival. You'll find a place to rest and a bunch of other useful things in there. And then there's a sword pedestal. The sword that seals the darkness, which needs no introduction, rests here. Rest there. The sword pedestal is the center of the forest. If you stand on the pedestal and look around, you'll be able to understand most of the paths in the forest. The bean lamps act as landmarks. You'll want to familiarize yourself with them to make it easier to find your way around. And if you get turned around, you can always head back to the sword pedestal. Do you need something else about the sword? The sword that seals the darkness. You want to know more about the master sword? Well, the Master Sword is a very special weapon, but it can lose its power if you overuse it. When that happens, don't panic. All you have to do is wait for its power to regenerate. I probably won't use it for trivial things like opening bottles or cans, just for smiting evil and stuff. Yahoo! Bottles, I get it in that kind of fantasy setting, but cans? <laughs> I mean, if you come to think of it, this is more of a fantasy-esque place, right? Even if you, even if you were to sell Lon Lon milk here, they will put it in bottles or jars, but cans. <laughs> oh. The Great Deco Tree can tell you more. Do you need anything? Something else? Uh, how do I leave? 
You want to leave the forest? But why? It's perfect here. Just kidding. I know you have to leave sometime. You've got to save Hyrule. If you headed east from the sword pedestal, there will be a sign on your right. Climb up the hill on the right side of the sign and you'll see an ogre tree. If you walk into that tree's mouth, you will whoosh be taken to the entrance of the woods. We set up this way because even us Koroks don't like to walk through the lost woods if we can avoid it. Yeah. Do you need anything else? Uh, bye. If you have trouble with anything, anything in these woods, just ask Maka. Yeah, yeah. Oops. Ah, uh, here I go again. I same old mistake. Never changed. Now then, I believe there's something of interest to... Sublado... Uh, no. Oh. Oh. Nothing here. Oh, there is something here. A sublado. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, no, come on. Ah ha ha Arrows, please. What's the glitch? I heard you're becoming the hero, that's why I opened a general shop. You're my only a customer, if you want to buy or sell something, just let me know. Ah, I'll need these. I don't need apples, I don't- oh, a hearty radish. Uh, I'll keep that for another time, and then... These are the shrooms. Any shroom I have not taken before? Ah, iron shroom. I haven't taken these. Okay. Yay. That's the 30 minute mark for me. Yay! Leave it to Maka. Other oh, sword trials. Complete the trials. Uh, another time. Right now, I have Divine Beast to do. Okay. Right then, let's pause for here, and next recording, <clears throat> sorry I, I had to stretch a bit, it is very late, it's almost 2 in the morning when I record this, we are going to Rito village, we are going to recall the memory between Link and Rivali, then we are going to find Teba, and we are going to do our Divine Beast Dungeon. So I think I'm still going to keep my order by going to Rivali first because I want Rivali skill to traverse. Then it depends if I want the Rook first, Mifa first or Urbosa first. Urbosa will be very useful if I do it late in a second because if I can get the helmet, then what it means is I can go through the Tundra Plateau and complete that trial without having to worry being zapped all the time. On the other hand, me first is also very good because I do need a lot of, well, you can say I'm not the best combat player at all, so I do need healing. <sighs> Choice options, right? But definitely going for Rivali skill first. So until then. This has been Caterpillar Tomoko. Hi, Deku Tree.
This has been Kai Petongo, and look at that, the big master sword on his head, on his back. Even though they strap, they model him like this, it's still hard to believe that he can strap the whole uh, one meter long of five feet, six feet, six feet, five feet long sword, just like that when he can't even reach the tip to the sheath. But still, it's cool to see. <laughs> Game logic, right? All right, that will be all from here, and I'll see. It will be a long walk before I get to. Yeah, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be some walk because, in order to reach that, I probably need to. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I may need to jump from here and then move from here to reach it. Yep, that seems to be the that seems to be the idea, because I haven't unlocked the shrine <laughs> over here yet. <laughs> okay, until then, this has been Caterpillar Tomoko signing out.